In this first short video, we're going to take a look at how we can organize the model, filter it in different ways, use classifications, etc. So I'm going to open up this SMC file that I've already saved. It's a fairly basic model, one that you might be familiar with if you've seen Solibri before. But right now it contains only the architectural model, which is this one here. And then underneath that, hidden inside it, is the MEP model, the, the building services. In terms of organizing this and turning it into something we want to work with, let's first just set it back so we can see all, so we, we use the, the show all button. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to views and switch on what's called classifications. And I'll just take this and dock it into the middle part of the screen here, just so that it's, it's nice and tidy. Uh, we'll pull this up a little bit. First thing I'll do maybe is load a classification that I will need later on. So I'm going to go to open. And I'm going to add separately. And what this is doing is it's jumping out to the integration that's already switched on for OneDrive. So this is directly accessing OneDrive from the cloud. And I can grab this classification that I've already saved. It's a very exciting classification. You'll see when it loads, if I click on it, the model changes instantly from the entire model to now show, if we drop it down, the WCs and the wash hand basins that are in the entire model. These are going to come into play in a couple of videos time where we start to look at component distance to be able to check that we have the correct maximum distance between these components. So right now let's just go back again, fit window, and in terms of classifications there's a lot more we can actually do here. You'll see there are some already for building elements general, for space grouping and for space usage. These are fairly standard ones that we use. But if I want more than that, then we can go and we can bring in pretty much whatever we like. So I'm going to start with something really simple. I want to see the walls in this model, but I don't want to see them right now filtered by purely the component type, which is in here. So what I'm going to do is select this one wall. And I'm going to come down in the info view until I can find what's called the type. And if I take this type and drag and drop into the classification view, that automatically creates a classification for me that then groups all of the walls broken down and colored by the different types or type names within this particular model. The nice thing about this is it's dynamic. So if I was to go and um, let's bring in another model, for example. So if we go back to recent, in fact, we take a structural model and add this into the mix. Then what this does is bring in, change the shortening to S, <clears throat> brings in the structural model, but you can see straight away this has dynamically updated the classification. So it now includes all of these classifications for the different structural wall types, and then the architectural ones. We can tidy this up some. So if I want to, I can go into the settings and the first thing that I'll probably do is go and just rename this. And in this case, I want to just see the architectural wall. So I'm going to change this to with health could spell architectural walls by type. And then we should put a description in here. And I'm going to put a name. And then we will call this, I will put a, a revision 1.0, and it is the 20th of the third 24. So just some sort of history information in there so that it's clear what's actually going on. The beauty of that is, is in the future, if somebody comes back and looks at this, then they've got this information ready to hand to be able to use. In terms of the filter, what I'm going to do here is just enhance it a little bit. So right now it's including walls, but there's no further filtering on there. What I will do is go and change this so that we're looking at uh, discipline, which is one of, double click to give me the list, architectural. And what that does now is reduce this list so when I OK to come out of there, it's renamed, but we're now looking at just the architectural walls. Even though the structural model is loaded, only the architectural walls are visible here. So it's a nice, simple way to create order within the model and the way you want things to appear. 
other things to look at maybe another few examples um, if we go and select just the architectural model maybe so we set that to the selection basket if I grab one of the columns maybe what I want to see is if I look through the various tabs here uh, we've got locate, location, quantities, materials, profiles, relations to other components, classifications. Uh, let's go back to quantities and let's just take length. So what I can do now is create a simple classification that groups all of the columns by length. So that might be important for structural functions, for further checking, for, for whatever it happens to be. Maybe for beams and the, the length that they can span, those sort of things. Um, another example might just be if I grab the doors, so I've got one door here, um, again we'll go to quantities and maybe this time we'll go with width and drag and drop and now I've got a new classification that shows all the doors grouped together by their widths and then they're even listed out here. So there's one metre wide, 1074s, 1100s etc etc. And if you spend a bit of time you can go through further delve deeper into what information is actually available in the components to create further more detailed classifications and then you can start to build up other combinations of different fields to be able to really narrow the model down and organize it the way you need it to be to push through to checking to information takeoff or just purely for visual purposes it's up to yourselves